Alright, what is up guys? It's me Kirby MD and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, now before we get started back uh, mission control and all that jazz, I've decided that um, there's not really a point to holding out on custom soldiers. Originally my plan um, was to wait for later in the game to add more custom soldiers to my squad um, so that way we would have custom soldiers throughout the game. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me anymore for some reason. I don't know, it's just not making sense. So we're going to add a few more. Um, there are still a one or two, um, just because I have seven already. Um, but let us go, let's go to the German. Um, our first suggestion, Tacky Tamara, something like that. I'll figure out the correct pronunciation. Uh, this is Lady Prophet, um, one of the polycrafters. Um, obviously I cannot add your nickname until later, so apologies for that. Um, I didn't get any specifics other than that, so I guess I don't think I did at least. Um, armor color. What haven't we used yet? Mm, ooh, I like that. I like the blue. I think we'll go with the blue. Alright, so there's one. One more custom soldier. We're also going to add. I don't know if we have any more, any more dudes, so that might be it for now, actually. Um, I think that's it for now. <laughs> yes, that is, that is it for now. We'll add a few more later uh, as we go through. So let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Ah, we figured out the meld stuff. Good. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. You know, so on my first playthrough when I was just kind of messing around, I went with the genetics lab. I personally think it's a lot cooler. Um, we have the cybernetics lab, which is the robot stuff, and the genetics lab, which is the gene stuff. Um, genetics lab bonuses and the cybernetics lab bonuses. Let's do this one. Xenobiology. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Um, let's get. In it. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. Um, I'll probably go with the genetics again. Excavation right. complete. Here we go. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. All right. Let's see. We have Egypt, so that would spread panic to South Africa and Nigeria, which are both fine. The United States, which I believe is also fine. I think all three of these are actually pretty chill. So I guess it comes down to what we want. Do we want four scientists? Do we want a support sergeant for $200? Um, the end of the month is coming soon. I think we're going to get four scientists. And we have five people now, thanks to uh, Putin. So let's bring Putin in. See how he does. Um, let's get our our heavy. Let's grab an assault. Let's grab uh, let's grab Becky this time. Uh, so we need a support. Let's let's grab Panda. And let's grab let's grab with Lady Prophet. Here we go. It's a pretty good squad.
Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Let's go. Difficult to said it was moderate, so we might lose a person or two. I hope not, though. I really don't want to. Oh, where did that go? This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Um, ooh, I don't like this map, so we're good on the side, it looks like. Is there anything behind us? We're good back here. So it looks like we're going to be pushing this way. Let's get... I'm rolling. Up there. So we can at least see into the garage. Aye, aye. Alien object in sight. We found the metal. That was really quick. Perfect. Let's get you... Heading to that location. <laughs> Headed there now. Heading to that location. Actually, I want to get up on the roof. I can, so let's... I'm all let's over. Out. Let's open it, but let's do that. We'll put everyone else on overwatch. Just in case. Let's get the roof first. Orders confirmed. On the move. Damage. 
to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Why did I try that shot? Ah, missed. Better there now. Day. That was easy. Another success. Our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. 
I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Oh, frick, I have a satellite. Alright, um... Let me see... Which gives us... Japan gives us the most money. And two engineers per month. Let's go Japan. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. And... Let's... See if we can get... Yeah, we'll buy one. We have no more money for the rest of the month. That's chill. Let's do another mission, shall we? You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. What? Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Okay. I don't like this. Research the arc. All right. Well, I guess we're researching the arc thrower. Seven days. We don't have money to build any more facilities. So, sucks to suck. We are not building that. We don't have money. Until next month, we'll be good to go. So, let's do a mission. Got our interceptor over Asia now. They were going to give me $200 for a satellite. Yeah, right. No, not having that. Satellite coverage now available over Japan. Our thrower is good to go. We're not going to buy any. Because we have no money. Because I suck. Uh, let's go. Ooh, beam weapons, though. Now we gotta do the autopsy, so let's do the thin man. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the thin man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. Sweet. Remember, got a bunch of we money, so will be us. watching. Let's get two of these. Order. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we can do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hollow globe. All right, I know both Argentina and Brazil are panicking. And India, both India and China are. They were the thing that looked good for us. I need the scientists. But I think I need to protect 
because these are two and three, and these guys are one, two, and two. I think I have to guard them. Let's do it. Alright, let's get... We, we had Mubeki last time. Let's get Jungle work on this mission. Um, blue brain. Some new faces. Bring Feng Yang up and. Oh, here's some new people. Perfect. Let's we'll fix this stuff up after a bit. George and Niccolo. And support. So let's bring. We brought Panda last time. If you're planning to bring one of those things back here with the Arc Thrower Commander, we're going to need a containment facility to house it in first. Oh, we don't have the facility yet. Let's get it. Keep the grenade. Oh, no, I guess I did. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Good for you. Let's do it. We don't have any. to Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. All right, let's do it. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. I agree. On my way. Get you up behind these. I'm rolling. We are hiding behind graves. Roger, tracking. Alright. Watch. All around. Overwatch. If I had to hazard a guess, based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. Aye, aye, Commander. Here they come. Nothing. Alright. Headed there now. Go, push 
Weapon this free. is a disturbing sight, to say the least. Oh, it's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Moving. Objectives completed. The hurt J Dog. Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. India's not looking too hot. Not good. Um, alright, I guess real quick. Fix a few of these soldiers up. Let's go. Jack Martin. Jack Martin. Custom arms. Alright, we have Sledgehammer. Uh, who is Zosh? Uh, obviously, don't have a nickname yet. That's chill. Actually, I kind of like how he looks just as is, honestly. Uh, what's a Zosh color? Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go. Oh, here it is. Not bright blue, but like, yeah, like a dark blue type of deal. It's probably good. I like, I like everything else, though. There we go. Sledgehammer. That is Zosh. Just added him. And let's add... Let's no 
No, it is. No, it is not. I should have known that by the name. Juan Diaz, the Argentinian. Now, let's add Imus. Old Deer. This is BBR. pretty powerful I like that and BBR has to be the bright blue obviously because big blue robot there we go there's BBR I feel like he needs a little facial hair though not like that not like that like that oh oh get the handle oh there we go that's it right there BBR do you want to change his hair color no, I don't think so Oh my gosh, look, it's BBR. Oh, I would do that too. I like that a little better. All right, and I think that's probably it for now. Yeah, it looks like it's it for now. Uh, so I still have three more to add eventually. I will do, I promise. Um, but I guess we'll call it good for this episode. We did quite a bit. Let's do this. Uh, used on the soldier. We want to give this to another heavy. Let's give that to you. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next episode. Start the long episode. Double mission. Gotta happen sometimes. You know, you feel. Alright, perfect. Peace out. Bye.